savage, yeah. Money man in the thing of a T and playing no games. Shout already know my name when I speak in CC Flame. Got my YouTube popping, man. Like, subscribe, and everything in between. You already know money man. Money man. You already know my savage, uh. My savage and my seven and my seven. We back with another crypto video. But before we get into it, you already know what you need to do. I need y'all to spam that like button, give me the 200 likes, subscribe and share and tell a friend about the money, man. You already know. And no, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm telling y'all what plays I'm on. I'm not telling you to buy Sarah Trade to swap. They're just for entertainment purposes only. Now, a lot of y'all getting confused and a lot of y'all asking questions. But first, like I said, man, y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail. That's the reason why you clicked on it. What is an algorithmic stablecoin? You got to understand what it is before you jump into these plays. And then y'all come to the Discord. Good segue right here. Link in the description. Come down, join the Discord. But we talking about all these bankers. And you know what I'm saying? They be talking all day nonstop. Be waking me up in the middle of the night, even though I be waking up on my own. But I still look at it. <laughs> and I be like 25, 50, 50 messages I ain't seen. And I'm telling y'all, man, 24 baby savages right here, man. Uh, 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 100, oh my goodness. Well, I ain't even looked at it, but look at that, 138 people offline. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all joining, and we is locked and loaded and ready to explode it. Like uh, Triple Seven right there said, man. Shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? But, like I said, join the Discord, link in the description. But let's get back to why you clicking on this video. Algorithmic stable coins, man. You got to understand what it is. I'm going to read this and then I'm going to put it simpler because you know I'm a straight savage. Uh, algorithmic based stable coins come in the final category and do not have an associate collateral. Therefore, they are also referred to as non collateralized stable coins. Algorithmic based stable coins are completely new variants of cryptocurrency tailored for offering improved price stability. In addition, it can also help in balancing the supply and demand of the asset in circulation. Most importantly, algorithmic based stablecoins offer considerably improved capital efficiency in comparison to catalyzed stablecoins. The algorithm of the protocol is backing up the stablecoins works as the central bank. It helps in increasing the supply in event of deflationary tendency of the token or reducing the supply in event of a decline in purchasing power of the stable coin the the rules for such actions by the algorithm are available in smart contracts in a embedded form it is possible to change the rules only by leveraging social consensus or through governance votes associated with governance of sen senior rich I remember how to say it. Tokens. There it is right there. So, simple way. I'm going to use one all y'all already know. Savannah. Savannah, Savannah, however you want to say it. So, if you didn't know, Savannah is pegged to MMF. As you can see right here, the Savannah token is pegged to MMF. Main, main meaning that it is connected to MMF token. So when MMF token rises, Savannah will rise. When MMF token goes down, Savannah will go down, more than likely. Now, with that being said, as you can see, this is how you read it. 1.6284 MMF. It that how much it takes to get one Savannah token. If it stays above the peg, that means if it stays above the price of MMF, then you will have an expansion of the total supply. As you can see, the total supply and circulating supply are very close together, but they will never be exactly the same if the pegged token, Savannah pegged to MMF, stays above the price of MMF. A lot of y'all got to understand that. If it's pegged to a certain token, it will decrease or increase in this case a lot of y'all is on pegasus and you see that pegasus token is 1052 that will not stay <laughs> i'm telling y'all man listen to what i'm saying a lot of y'all getting mad and angry and don't understand it because you getting in high and then you losing money because you putting a dumping a lot of in 
That's why I don't put a lot in when I get in certain coins. But when I done learned about the algorithm stable coins is, you have to be able to have a strategy of how you getting in if you getting in high. You either you get in high to quick flip or rug pull them like I did on VV, V3S. You rug pull them. So basically what you do is, I'm, I'm making this video, it's going to be long. Real true savage, y'all gonna watch the whole video. You wanna learn how to do this anyway. Like, subscribe, share, tell a friend about the money, man. You already know. But, like I'm telling you, Pegasus is 1530k right now. You do not want to keep that coin. You want to earn the shares. On all of these uh, algorithmic stable coins, you wanna earn the shares because they will have the most value in the end. The only reason why Pegasus has the value it has right now and the shares are low because the max supply of pegasus is low 18,949 but as long as <laughs> pegasus stays above the peg that means the above a price of m the m e t f it will expand it will continue to expand it will always expand until either Pegasus goes below the peg, then that's when you get the bonds. The, the one all the way far to the right right here, the B-P-E-S. Then I'll explain that in a minute. But as long as it stays above the peg, it will always expand. So I'm telling you, eventually, the price of Pegasus will be the price of the M-E-T-F. That's with every stable, algorithmic stable coin. If it's pegged to a certain coin, it will eventually get to that price of whatever coin is pegged to. In this case, METF around 200, I think it's still around $200. Whatever the price of the METF is gonna get close to the point where you see this 11.919, it's gonna say 1.19. And the price of Pegasus is gonna be a little above whatever the price of METF is. That's how that works. That's how that works. Another example, I'm going through all of them. V3S is an algorithmic stable coin. A lot of y'all jumped in, but like I said, I was quick flipping. So how you quick flip money, man? I'm going to tell you how I did it on here. Basically, I created the LP, right? I didn't put much in the LP now. I didn't put much in the LP because I knew V3S was not the coin that I needed to have right now. Because it was going to go down to the price of VVS. It's pegged to VVS. And y'all know the price of VVS. So that's where this is this pegged to now. See, like I said, it's 1.0291. It's 1.0291 VVS to get a V3S token. The coin you needed to earn was the V-share. And it was like 50. It had ran up to $50 when it first came out. So what I did was. I created the LP, even though V3S was high. I created the LP, but I didn't put that much in there. And the APYs and the daily APYs, APRs was so high that I only left it in there for maybe one or two days. And I earned V shares and I swapped the V shares back to Crow. Because I didn't know V3S was a rug pull or not. Because we just had got rug pulled by those reflection coins that had came out. So I was like, never again. So that's why I earned the V shares, took the V shares, swapped it back to Crow, or you can swap with whatever token you want until, until the price goes down to peg. That's what you do. You don't hold it. If you're going to dump that much money in, you earn the V shares or the whatever the share coin is, and you flip it. Rug pull them before they rug pull you. That's what I said. But in this case, it's a quick flip. You don't hold it unless you win it long term. But if you want to get some money and make your money investment back, that's what you do. Now, V3S introduced V3 Crow. That mess had ran all the way up to $300. And I told them, y'all in the Discord, shout out to the Discord, where we at, link in the description, get in there. I told the Discord that V3 Crow would come back down to Crow. 
it's pegged to grow. It's going to come back down. So as you can see, it took it a week, but it came back down to closer to the price of whatever crow is. Same thing with that V3, uh, uh, DUSD, the dark, I think with dark, dark, uh, whatever that coin is, <laughs> it's pegged to it. So you see it came down no matter what the total supply is. Cause like one of the savages in the discord, he said, uh, look at the total supply. But I know how stable coin, ag algorithm stable coin work that I, as long as it stayed above or high $300 like it was, it was going to come down. It was going to keep expanding, making the price come down. That's what happened. That's what happened. So, going to the dark game right here, the same thing is an algorithmic stable coin. This is staked, it's, I mean, pegged to dark crypto. It's pegged to dark crypto. So, it's going to hang around the price or whatever dark crypto is. But like I said, the coin to earn is the share. In this case, Sky G. Same thing on regular dark crypto. You have dark crypto, then you have Sky. Like I said, the coin to earn is Sky. So you want to make an LP or purchase if you want to. But I wouldn't purchase it. I just make an LP so you can earn it if you want to quit flip or make some money off of your LP and get your invest, invest, uh, original investment back. Then you create the LP to earn the share, or in this case, shot the sky. Then you swap the sky, or you keep it, and you put it in the boardroom. Then that's when I'm going to segue to the boardroom. Now, the boardroom is where you stake the share to earn back the coin. And it's a rinse and repeat. It's a cycle. You create the LP. To get the share, you take the stake the share in boardroom in the epic to earn more of the coin so you can create more of the LP. <laughs> get it? Got it? Good. I'm trying to explain this real clear because a lot of y'all don't understand it or didn't understand it or need a clarification of why y'all losing money. So that's what you do when the price is high. You have to wait until. If you want to go deep in, you have to wait until, if you not quit flipping, you have to wait until the coin, whatever coin you're looking at, comes close to the pig. So right now, as y'all can see, V3S is close to VVS. It's not going to move that much. It's just going to keep expanding as long as it's over the price of v VVS. Now you can create a more stable LP and dump a lot of money in to earn the share. Got it? Good. If you don't understand, leave a comment down below or join the Discord and ask your question. Real simple. Real simple. A lot of y'all were getting confused. A lot of y'all were getting confused. Back to Savannah. The main one that you probably really want to get in because it was like the first one to come out on Kronos that I know of. The first algorithmic stable coin to come out on Kronos. Plus, it's connected to MMF. That's why Pegasus is still high, but Savannah was the first. And you can see the M shares at $18,000. Go back to Pegasus. $239. That's just because I ain't want to go with that one. It has a bigger total supply than M share. M share only got 100,000 total supply. Pegasus has 21 million. But in the end, it would have more value in the long term than Pegasus. But Pegasus right now, just because of the supply, has the bigger price. It would not stay that way. Just understand that. So swear way into it to the last little bit. I want to introduce to y'all. MMF <laughs> is introducing another stable coin. Another algorithmic. Stable coin by MMF. They just released Pegasus. Now they're releasing another one on the launch pad. Scrub Finance. Same thing. It works the same way. But it's just pegged to Savannah. So now you look at Savannah price, $2.76. Cents. So, dang, I ain't want to close it. But we back on it. So right now, as you can see. This, the Lion coin 
is the coin that's pegged to Savannah. But Tiger is the coin you want to earn. Right? Right. That's the coin you want to earn. So as you can see, the total supply for the Lion is 455000 Now, with that being said, if you get into this, I know this is a long video. If you get into that, I'll make another video separate about this, but I'm going to include it because it's new. And I was talking about the algorithm of stable coins, and this is one. Now, understand that the price will run up when it's brand new. But at the same time, you create the LP to earn the tiger. Lion, there it is right here, it's right here. Lion Savannah LP. That's the one you need to make and stake it to earn the tiger. Then when you earn the tiger, you can either swap it back to Savannah or Crow or MMF because the price will go higher in the beginning because Tiger has a total supply of 35,100. It's going to stay high. It going it will be the most valuable coin on screw up finance. It will. So that's why you want to create the LP and earn the share. In this case Tiger, you don't want to earn the coin. You get Tiger, stake Tiger in the boardroom, then you earn back the coin to increase your LP and it just rinse and repeat. Now, if Lion ever gets below the peg of Savannah, then that's when you go to the bonds. The bonds, when the when the Savannah, when the price of the coin that's pegged to whatever goes below that price of that pe whatever coin is pegged to, that's when the uh it's gonna contract. It's gonna contract. It won't expand. It's gonna contract. So it's gonna burn tokens to get it back up to peg or above peg. And but when it's under peg, that's when you can purchase the bonds. You won't be able to purchase the bonds until whatever coin is pegged to whatever coin. But when it's under peg, that's the only time you're gonna be able to get the bonds. So you can't get the bonds anytime you want. You can only get it. When it's under peg. Got it? So that's how that works. I know this video will be long. But like I said man. I wanted to introduce it. I ain't going over this on this video. But y'all see it. It's on uh, MMF Twitter. Right here. If you want to look read Screw Up Finance. Uh, go ahead and read it. But I will be making a video about that. So stay tuned. It's probably going to be tomorrow. Depends on you watching the video. You know what I'm saying. But <clears throat> hopefully I explained it. Hopefully, y'all watched the whole video. And if y'all didn't, hopefully, you won't be saying I lost a lot of money when I just explained it. But a lot of y'all probably going to skip. I ain't going to watch it. If you're real true savage, I appreciate y'all. Y'all know what's up. What time it is. My savage, y'all. Stop playing with me. My savage, Money made in the thing of a tea and playing no games. Shout out, already know my name when I speak this CC play. Got my YouTube popping, man. Like, subscribe, and everything in between. You already know money, man. Money, man. You already know my name.